What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. If you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. After a few days of being without power, I'm finally back bringing you guys some new movie reviews. And finally for this movie, because it had a limited release and it's now worldwide, and that is the brand new Wes Anderson film, The French Dispatch. This movie, of course, is directed and written by Wes Anderson, and this is his 10th movie now in theaters this weekend. And this movie has an insane all-star cast to it. You have the usual Wes Anderson actors and actresses, and you have some new ones thrown in there, like Timothy Chalamet, Jeffrey Wright, just to say some, for example. This is a huge cast. A love letter to journalists set in an outpost of an American newspaper in a fictional 20th century French city that brings to life a collection of stories published in the French Dispatch magazine. Wes Anderson is such a unique filmmaker. Everybody knows how unique and quirky his films are, whether that's his live action or animated films. He just has this unique sense of style to his direction that everybody knows like if you just watch this movie you can already point out that's a wes anderson film the film mostly has received positive reviews from people that have seen it and i got to see it this week i didn't get to see it on release week because it only had a limited release and now after seeing the french dispatch what did i think of this movie is it great is it not great or is it just okay the French Dispatch is another solid Wes Anderson film. While it's not my favorite film from him, I think this movie has a fantastic cast with great performances in it, a great quirky sense of Wes Andersonisms that you're gonna love if you love his movies. And it is definitely the most Wes Anderson film I've seen in a while. It's all pretty much different stories. In the first act, you have Benicio Del Toro, Adrian Brody, Leia Sadu, and I thought that was my favorite part of the movie, the first act. Benicio Del Toro was great in here as this artist that is in prison, and they all beloved his work. And it just has that Wes Anderson-ism, and I thought Benicio Del Toro was fantastic in here. I love his back and forth with Adrian Brody, who is a normal Wes Anderson actor. And Adrian Brody was my second favorite performance in here. I thought he was hilarious as well. Just really love that rivalry they had in the first act. And then you get Leia Seydoux's character and Owen Wilson as well. Just... In this weird world created by Bill Murray's character and just all that was my favorite part of the film and then you get into the second act with Timothy Chalamet Francis McDormand and Timothy Chalamet I thought was gonna be in the whole entire movie like I thought he was the main character but no I wouldn't say he's the main character he doesn't have the most screen time but Chalamet's presence is always great in here. It's great to see him in a Wes Anderson film. And in the third act, you have Jeffrey Wright's character. And I was looking forward to Jeffrey Wright as well. He as well is having a fantastic year. And his character has his own unique sense about him. Like each character in each act brought their own stories in the most Wes Anderson way. The Wes Anderson film I can compare this movie to is definitely the Grand Budapest Hotel. Just by the production design of the French Dispatch, I would say the Grand Budapest Hotel and the French Dispatch are the best looking Wes Anderson films. When you talk about cinematography and production design, both of these movies look very similar. The sets are great, the cinematography is in that Wes Anderson way like you want it to be. And I think it's a lock for both of those Oscar nominations because Wes Anderson never disappoints in that department. And his direction in here is always fantastic and you see his vision. Going in, I wasn't like super, super hyped, but I became just in love with just the comedy in here in the first act. I was laughing in the first act. But, however, the movie is definitely not perfect, and I think that transitioned to my negatives. Sometimes my biggest issue with Wes Anderson's films is that his comedy, for the most part, is very funny, but the runtime and the pacing does go on far too long, and you get a life aquatic with Steve Zissou or Darjeeling Limited, where I think the 
pacing is so slow. If you make a Wes Anderson film around 90 minutes or 80 minutes, perfect. But if you make it close to two hours, I think that's overstaying its welcome for a Wes Anderson film. And this movie definitely overstays its welcome by the third act. It's not that I hated it. It just got less funny. And it's not that it wasn't funny. It just wasn't as funny as it started out. Honestly, out of all three acts, I'm shocked to say Timothy Chalamet's part in the movie was my least favorite part of the movie. And I was definitely not expecting that. But I actually liked the first act and the Jeffrey Wright third act the most in this movie compared to Chalamet's storyline. I just wanted more of him. I wanted more of Frances McDormand because I actually really like her as an actress. It's not that it was terrible. I just felt like the pacing was a little bit off and the storylines weren't as investing as other Wes Anderson films. Before I give you guys my final overall thoughts on the French Dispatch, if this is your guys first time checking out the channel and you like this review, definitely hit that like button. It helps the channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, consider clicking that subscribe button where I do reviews every single week here on the channel. I also do ranking videos. I will be doing a Wes Anderson ranking with this, so look forward to that. And I also do live Q and A's to interact with my subscribers. So if you're a movie lover, you're definitely in the right place. Hit the like and subscribe button and let's talk movies. The French Dispatch has great quirkiness, a great cast, good performances in it, and another solid Wes Anderson flick that definitely overstays its welcome and it started to get less funny than it was at the start. But that's not the worst thing. I definitely enjoyed the film. It just made me realize why I enjoy this man's work. So if you're a Wes Anderson fan, definitely check out The French Dispatch. On my rating scale, I'm going to give The French Dispatch a B-. There you have it guys, that was my thoughts on The French Dispatch. What did you guys think of this movie if you've seen it? Did you love it? Think it was okay? Did you absolutely hate it? Let's talk about it in the comments. Where will the French Dispatch land on my Wes Anderson ranking coming up? That question will be answered very soon. Guys, look forward to my last night in Soho review as well. I can't wait to talk about that movie. You guys are all the best. Thank you so much for watching. All my social media links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.